In the last 20 years, the contribution of solar energy to the world total energy supply has grown through significantly. This video will show how solar cell or photovoltaic cell produce electricity. Energy from the sun is the most abundant and absolutely freely available energy on the planet Earth. In order to utilize this energy, we needed to help from the second most abundant element on the Earth, which is sand. The sand has to be converted to 99.99% pure silicon crystal to use in solar cell. To achieve this, sand has to go through a complex purification process, as shown. Now we will move to what is a solar cell. A solar cell, also known as photovoltaic cell or PV cell, it is defined as an electrical device that converts light energy into electrical energy through the photovoltaic effect. A solar cell is basically an PN junction diode. Solar cells are formed by photoelectric cell defined as a device whose electrical characteristics such as current, voltage, or resistance vary when exposed to light. Individual solar cells can be combined to form modules commonly known as solar panels. The common single junction silicon solar cell can be produced a maximum open circuit voltage of approximately 0.5 to 0.6 volts. By itself it is not much but remember these solar cells are tiny when combined to a large solar panel considerable amount of renewable energy can be generated. Now we will look at construction of solar cell. A solar cell is basically a junction diode all through its construction is a little bit different from conventional PN junction diode. A very thin layer of P-type semiconductor is grown on a relative thicker N-type semiconductor. When they apply a few fine electrodes on the top of P-type semiconductor layer, these electrodes do not obstruct light to reach the thin P layer. Just below the P-type layer there is a PN junction. We also provide a current collecting electrode at the bottom of N-type layer. We encapsule the entire assembly by a thin glass protected by solar cell from any mechanical shock. Now we'll look, working principle of a solar cell. When light leaks at PN junction, the light photons are easily entire in the junction. When light heat at PN junction, the light photons can easily enter in the junction to so very thin P type layer. The light enter in the form of photons, supplies sufficient energy to the junction to create a number of electron hole pairs. The incident light breaks the thermal equilibrium condition of the junction. The free electrons in the deposit region can quickly come to the N type side of the junction. Similarly, the hole in the duplication can be quickly come to the free type side of junction. Once the newly created free electrons come to the N type side, cannot further cross the junction because of barrier potential of the junction. Similarly, the newly created holes once come to the P type side cannot further cross the junction because of same barrier potential of the junction. As the concentration of electrons becomes higher in the side, for example, N type side of the junction, and concentration of holes become more in another side, for example, P type side of the junction. The PN junction will behave like a small battery cell. The voltage is set up and down a photo voltage. If we connect a small load across the junction, there will be a tiny current flowing through it. 